Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Masters of Orion, Episode 2. Uh, let's jump in and get started. Last time we left off, we were going through trying to scout out a habitable planet uh, to send our colony ship. We're also building some frigates because we got some pirates that are coming in. I imagine these guys are going to be probably a lot more stronger than I'm going to be. I'm just preparing for that mess now. Scout should probably turn them around, but I really want to see what these planets look like. And then we're sending our colony ship over here, potentially maybe going to colonize this planet, which could be a good planet for building, starting our war, uh, construction of our fleets uh, that we're going to need to conduct war. So let's go on to the next turn. All right, so he, yeah, see, he is literally pointing right at us. He's like, yeah, we're coming straight for you. They're not messing around. Um, I feel like I should head back, so I'm going to do that. At least until I get my, I can get my frigates produced. So now you can see here we've got the credits. We can use those to just outright buy ships. I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to hold off a little bit on that, although it's something that I would like to do in the future. Which way do we want to expand? Towards the galactic edge, right? That makes sense. Because then if we can get like a somewhat of a safe haven, cut ourselves out a piece of the galaxy, right? We don't want anybody living behind us. It always sucks. Kind of like my Star Drive series where I ended up in the middle of the uh, of the map. That really sucked. Oh, and what a nice, ser uh, nice system. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. We got planets. We got a unexplored like asteroid field. I like it. Very neat. All right, for these guys, they're just heading off this way. It's going to take them a couple jumps to get there. Really need that frigate to get finished. What's discovered? Yeah, the system. Okay. Hasami. We got Hasami, Sla, Vergoa, Virgo, Virgo, we'll say. Oh, those. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you go down into the system. Okay, for these guys, can I turn the frigate around or is it too late? It's too late. Once it gets in the star lane, they're cruising to the end. Oh, no. Ooh, I need that frigate. Okay, he's got one more turn left. I'd rather save myself the, credit, uh, the credits. Can I queue up? I can. Okay, let me show the queue here. What do we want after that? We're going to go for another frigate. That's going to be the plan. Get another frigate going. After that frigate, we're going to go for a... Definitely not five frigates. We're going to go for... I think two frigates will be in enough for me to protect my scouts. Go for either a factory or do I want the pollution boost? The food will help me. Planet size limit's 12... I only have 7 out of 11, plus 6 food. It looks like maybe I lost a population. Oh yeah, one of them got pulled off because of the colony ship. Next population's in 10 turns, so we want more food. Oh, very cool. You can actually go through and... Oh, Oh, wow, that's awesome. Holy crap, okay. Now, how do I get back to the... There we go. Very cool. I like that a lot. Okay, let's do... Uh, let's go for more food. That'll help us increase our population, which for a race that uh, is considered to survive off of a high population, I think that's going to be a good move on our part. So, government research completed. Pirate's still chasing us down. Uh, this scout here, he's actually just going to go hang out at the home planet. Stand by. This frigate's going to head over here. I think we're going to be strong enough. It looks like we're going to be strong enough to take these three pirates. But just in case, um, when the other frigate shows up, uh, he's not going to show up unless I buy him. Well, I'm not going to buy him until... Till he's a little bit cheaper. I'll let... How many turns till these guys get here? Three turns? Yeah, we got plenty of time. I'll let him queue up, and then if I have to buy him two turns out so he can fly over here, I'll do that. All right, Frigate 2 completed. Government research completed, so we can do some more research. Heading over to this planet here, get that early colonization started. 
and going into this system. The first planet we're going to explore is that one. See if it's something habitable, because if it is, I can quickly route this guy down that way. Although I don't think I should do that. I should probably grab this planet as soon as possible before... Are over and done with this new thing. Uh, before the other races start expanding. I don't want them to out-expand out me here. So we got the research lab laboratory and the government support facility. Uh, pretty good there. Not going to go for any more build buildings right now, because i got to start building up the ones I have already. I think our home planet, though, is going to be mainly food. And then that early planet we colonize will be mainly production. So without further ado, let's go for biotechnology, potentially, because that'll give us minus 25 population growth, minus 25% maintenance, three cost 60. Uh, the resulting increase in lifespan increases the population growth until the planet reaches maximum population. Well, we don't really need the death spores yet, actually. I'm not really worried about economics isn't bad. Civil transports allow the relocation of one population. That's pretty useful. Fungal farms produce food without the need of farmland, sunlight, or rain. This food is not palatable, so colonies with better biomes like not to build this facility. So this would be useful for that desert planet I'm about to colonize. And then the deep scanner, of course, was something I really wanted. But we do need to start working on research a little bit. Where's this going to lead? That's probably something we should look at, right? What's looking? What's the future looking like? Biotechnology is going to head us into xenobiotics. Tropical transformation. Upgrade swamp plants to tropical class by changing weather patterns. Soil enrichment facility. Toxic processor. Cleans and recycles the atmosphere, reducing pollution. Telepathic training and microbiotics. And up here, we're looking at... Man, I really don't want to miss anything. The neutron rifle. That's going to be for our ground troops. We're going to need that and a mass driver. Electromagnetic railgun that fires hypervelocity projectiles. Although the mass driver's accuracy is calculated like that of beam weapons, its damage is not reduced by range. I feel like I'm going to spend a lot of time in this screen because I just don't know what's important. A fusion drive, combat speed bonus plus 20%. That's also could be useful, but I have to go for engineering. I guess we could go for the, the, the destroyer now. Yeah, let's go for, well, yeah, let's go for the destroyer. And then I uh, will see what we need after that. Ooh, hello. I am the Emperor of the Bulrathi. If you wish to keep your flea-bitten pelt on your back, you'll give my kindred a wide berth. Fair enough. Okay, they come to us peacefully. We can see their disposition up here in the middle because they just met us. Goodbye. All right, so we know that they're somewhere off. Oh, there they are. So they're in this system here. Okay, that's good to know. We haven't come across anybody yet, but we do know they're up there. All right, fleets need order. <clears throat> scout. Um, I guess you might as well go scout this way, because by the time these turns go through, there's going to be no point. So if you want to head up that way, okay, I'm going to buy this frigate now. So he'll appear next turn, hopefully. That's just in case these pirates get out of control, I'll be ready to go. As for this frigate, I'm going to try to send him back. I don't think he's going to get back in time, but that's something I'm going to do. Alright, so colony planets from different planetary systems is a good way to expand the range of our scanners. Choose planets with good biomes to boost population growth and high mineral richness to increase production. Alright, thank you. So... Minerals uh, are abundant. Pretty good minerals there. So I think it's uh, a good idea to colonize that planet. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's so awesome. <laughs> this is cool. That's pretty neat. I could see that maybe getting old in the future, but... I'd say that's pretty awesome. So we've got one guy. He's sitting on production. Put him on food right now. I do want to turn this into a production planet, but we need to increase the population if we're actually going to make this planet worth anything. Now, it could have been a mistake to, uh, to 
colonize this. We'll find out, I guess. But even though production is the most important thing I want to get out of this planet right now, I need to actually have food so my people can eat. So let's choose production here. We're definitely going to start going with some things here that are going to produce more food. So I'm thinking uh, probably a hydroponic farm, like 40 turns. Oh my God. We may want to get that uh, that thing that can that can send uh, people over here. Maybe we want to get that here pretty quickly. We're going to go for the... Oh, oh my God. Um, okay, if I do go for that farm, if I move him down, can I? how can I... Okay, so 10 turns. But then is he starving? Is that how that works? Base is 1. Population 0. Modifiers. Consumption 0 0.25. I think he's going to starve at some point. We'll check back on here and see how that goes. Oh, did you guys see that? Next colony. Oh, cool. That's going to be useful. What's this planet? Is it something that would have been better to colonize? No. It is an ocean planet. Size is very small. Minerals uh, poor. However, it does have something special there. Gives uh, Gold gives credits boost to the economy. Okay, so it has some gold on that planet. Speaking of something special, we actually have artifacts here. So grants a research boost to the colony. That was a pretty lucky planet to start on. Where is my ship? I thought I purchased him. He's got one more turn? Okay. And then we're going for the farm on this one. And then I would like to actually take population here. I'd like to take uh, one population off this planet and send it to the other one at some point. Not now, but soon. These ships are going to pass each other, aren't they? Okay, what needs order? Which fleet? You, yes, just defend. Next turn. Pirate ships are upon us. <laughs> so this is what was aching the noggin? <laughs> All right, so consider building a space factory next. They are construction ships capable of building structures that provide defenses, resource extraction, and radar expansions in space at nodes such as warp points, asteroid fields, and uncolonized planets. Space factories can indirectly claim territory by building defense structures in all warp points of a given system. Hey, that's cool. So you can actually, like, secure your, you know, the, the, your sphere of influence, we'll call it. You can kind of secure that with military outposts. I like that a lot. All right, let's take a look at this here. So I guess we can't really see what's there. At least not yet. Or that or there's nothing there. I really don't know. Uh, let's keep going farther back. Okay, these guys are outside our system, but I don't uh, think that they're going to be any threat. Let's definitely send our second frigate there. That should give us more than enough firepower to deal with these nasty guys. We'll do that in a second. And this scout here... He's actually heading up this way. This frigate's heading back to provide defense just in case these two fall. And we're currently working on a hydroponic farm. Boost the population of this planet. And then maybe we'll use that special ship to transport uh, one of the populations from here to there. I think that's going to be good. So do these guys automatically go in combat or do I need to initiate it? I need to initiate it, I guess. Okay. So three pirate raiders, two frigates... Victory chances are excellent. Okay, sweet. So we got tactical and simulate. I guess I'll go with simulate. Does that just do it? Okay. So I probably should have picked tactical, but that's okay. Results. So, okay, so simulate just gives us a screen. Tactical probably actually puts us in the battle. That's fine. I'm good with simulate. Um... So we lost no ships, they lost three. Damage dealt, a lot. They didn't deal hardly any. Damage received, obviously the same as damage dealt, so no real point. Battle highlights, defensive effect. Okay, cool, so we won. Nice. I'll check the tactical one out next time just to see what it's about. I think the tactical battles are actually like real space stuff. So I've actually got a pretty strong military now that I think about it compared to probably a lot of other races. <laughs> Now that I think about, uh, now that I kind of really think about it, I didn't think that those pirates were going to be that weak. But I see some other, what appears to be scouting ships. Yep. Both scouts, okay. We definitely want to make sure our ships get in there before theirs do. So we'll sit outside our planet with that. Um, I may turn this guy around once he, nah, I'll keep him going this way and I'll send these guys. I'll send two of them towards our other planet. Okay, you are doing your thing. A new ship has been discovered. What? 
Okay, what's going on here? We a new ship. Oh, can I do I right click? Oh. Okay, so a system was discovered. A new ship was discovered. So that was our research. We actually discovered that destroyer. I'm guessing is what that was. The brainers are over and done with this new thing. Okay, sweet. So we got the destroyer. We got anti-missile rockets. Might actually go through and des design something for the destroyer. But what do we want to go with next? We were talking about be the ability to be able to actually transport units or transport population to other places. That was the civil transport. And then a fungal farm. So yeah, we're definitely going to go with deep space exploration. Next. For the brood. Because our race's ability to survive is going to be populating as many planets as we can. And also uh, with numbers. Because like they said at the beginning, we are pretty much based off of heavy numbers. Kind of deciding when I actually want to design the destroyers. Don't know if I want to do it now or what. Okay, for expansion, I think it's going to be a good idea. How do we get to that system? This must be somewhere in here. I think it's going to be safe for us to go this way. Okay. That guy's not on the star lane. Can you actually come off the star lane? That would be cool. You're heading down this way. Okay, they're heading off that way. You're just going to guard that planet. And we're working on a hydroponic farm. How's things going here? Is this guy starving to death yet or what? No, it looks like because he's consuming... Okay, so he's consuming 0.25 and the food is one base no matter what. So he's actually going to be able to finish this farm and that'll give us some more food, which will hopefully give us more some more population. And I may throw him up there after. But keeping him down here in production so we can finish this farm is definitely the best option. So definitely going to keep it where it is. I'm not going to work on getting, uh, worry about getting destroyers yet. Uh, because to be fair, uh, you know, it's still early game. I just don't see a need for a large military just yet. Soon, uh, but not just yet. Okay, these two ships here that are guarding, we're actually going to send them over to this system. See what's got, uh, going on over there. Who needs orders? You do. Scout. You can head this way. And after he's done building that hydroponic farm, let's go for, I think, a research laboratory or biosphere. How's pollution looking? 2%? Okay, so we're keeping pollution down pretty well. Research laboratory. How's the state-of-the-art computer equipment? So we're going to get two research points. Food plus one, research plus one. Actually, the biosphere definitely seems like something we should get. And then after that, I may get a destroyer. Kind of slowly build the fleet up while I was doing some other stuff. Why don't we take a look at the destroyer real quick and see what he looks like. So we got the base destroyer and a pretty neat looking one, but I definitely like the base destroyer better. That's pretty awesome. All right. And then theme, we just stick with the standard theme. Armor, nuclear drive, specials. Okay, weapons. He's got four laser cannons, two nuclear bombs, five nuclear missiles and two neutron blasters uh, no specials yet we could give them augmented engines or anti-missile rockets increases the ship's interstellar travel speed and combat can be activated for short speed boost okay same thing and then anti-missile rockets are designed to intercept and destroy incoming missiles and fighters within a range a chance depends on the dependent distance to the target each turn of combat if the anti-missile rockets have not been done. Okay, I'm gonna hold off on both of those for now. Pretty happy with the destroyers. I think I'll just keep them the way they are. Then... Well, hello. Pleased to meet you. This is the controller of the Cylon Quanta. I am certain we have much to learn from each other. Yeah, I'm certain we do. All right, so probably a more technologically advanced race, I'd imagine, they come across as. What do we got here? Lots of minerals. It's abundant. Gravity is normal. Small planet. Volcanic. Okay. Let's keep moving forward. Not finding very good habitable planets so far. We haven't had a lot of luck uh, with that, but hopefully we will. I'm also hoping this system is not populated. Okay, they're over there. The Mentar, the Ursa. And we'll just have to wait and see where everybody else is. What is this over here? A wormhole. 
Does that go somewhere else? I'm assuming it goes right there. There's only two wormholes, so they must be connected. That only makes sense. All right. Kind of getting that civilization feeling where you're just kind of clicking next turn a little bit, but not too much in this game because you are kind of controlling movement here and there, even though I know these guys will kind of move themselves if I set them up. Uh, let's do this planet first. Ah, okay. Ooh, biome, toxic. Abundant minerals, size is medium, gravity is normal. No food, lots of production, can only hold four population. Terrible planet, actually. I, I saw green, I thought it was going to be uh, a planet worth maybe checking out, but it is not, unfortunately. And you're actually going to keep going up this way. You already know what you're doing. You guys got your orders. This is about to be produced. How's this going here? Four more turns. I'm going to buy it flat out. Get it in one turn. Try to get that food because we got to grow these planets pretty quickly. I am trying not to waste any time here. And going to go for the biosphere here. Get that extra research point, that extra food as well. This Oop. is GNN, Galactic News Network. You are tuned to GNN. The only network that tells you what you need to know. Bringing it to you live. Galactic News Network, the galaxy's most reputable news source. Okay, sweet. Oh. Alright, so I guess we just uh, made contact, or they just kind of jumped into the game at that point. So now that enough of the races have... Uh, probably advanced out of their home systems. I guess they become active. Uh, makes sense. Everybody's kind of just ready to do their thing. All right. And I got my scouts all moving in. Let's uh, choose production on this planet next. Yes, choose production. So we are getting plus two food now, which means population is going to grow in 10 turns. Things are looking pretty well over here, that means. Uh, which means I could go for the biosphere, but this is going to be a production-heavy planet. Uh, really focusing on trying to uh, make this a massive producer for our ships. So a space factory is not a bad idea, but we should get an automated factory first so we can really work on that production. So let's get that going, especially since in 10 turns we'll get another population going there. Not a problem at all. Now over here, we started the biosphere. That's good. One more turn until we get another population. I'll probably put him on food. Try to get this population maxed out as fast as possible. After the biosphere, we may go for another colony ship, actually. Let's get a space factory after. Just so we can, you know, I don't know at what point in the game we should have one of those. But since he got brought up earlier, I would imagine it probably should be fairly soon. All right, which fleet needs orders? Okay, you do. This planet. Ooh, a large planet. Biome is arid. Minerals are ultra poor, but there is some artifacts here. Artifacts grant a research bonus. Okay, so lots of food and uh, some research bonus. But other than that, pretty crappy planet. 12 population, but look at that food. Yeah, definitely going to colonize this one next. Um, even though the production is not great, we can get a lot of food from that. And... Uh, we could use that as kind of like a pretty good research hub. The only problem with that is it may be hard to defend, especially since unless we don't... Let's see. No, it might not be that bad, actually, because we got a main production planet here, so it could pump fleets up that way. I know I'm kind of trying to predict way into the future here, but let's explore. Let's take this guy off this way, see what's in this system. All right, and that'll be it for this episode since we are at the end of it. Uh, just uh, pretty much getting a lot of scouting done. We've done a pretty good amount. I think that'll be the next planet we colonize. So that is the plan. So we're going to get another colony ship up here after the space factory. So I may have to speed this up. But after the space factory, we'll go for that uh, colony ship. And then uh, over here, just building the automated factory. May actually move the space factory over here. I don't know. I'll think about it. But that's where we're sitting right now. So thank you for joining me. I do hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>